This is a product review for Brown's Tropical Carnival Hoops and Honey Strawberry Flavor Small Treats that we received for free in exchange for an honest review thanks to Chewy.com. One positive about the product is that the hoops are crunchy. Giving your hamster crunchy treats can help them keep their teeth trimmed. Another positive is that there are minerals and vitamins in the treat. It's always good to give your hamster treats that provide beneficial nutrients. As with any packaged treat though, I'm always hesitant to give it to butternut more than on a rare occasion. I like to have full knowledge and control over the ingredients, which is one of the reasons I make his treats from scratch, as you can see from our other videos. I also just really enjoy making things for him. Now for the negatives. When Butternut first took the treat, he put it into his cheek pouch for later. As you can see though, he immediately needed to readjust the hoop in his pouch several times and ended up removing it altogether. It was clear that it was not fitting comfortably. I feel the size of the treat combined with the round shape is not conducive for hamster storing anything in his or her cheek. I appreciate Brown trying to give a good amount of their product to customers, but I would prefer a larger quantity of smaller treats. Butternut is a big boy, so I can only imagine how difficult and uncomfortable these could be for a smaller hamster or one with food already in their cheek. When we were filming, we actually attempted to take the treat away from him when he was trying to adjust it in his cheek, but backed off due to fear it would startle him and cause him to shove the treat into his mouth. We knew he knew what he was doing and decided to trust him. If this was the only negative, I would suggest cutting the hoops into smaller pieces before giving them to your hamster. But unfortunately, this was not the only negative. As you can see, the hoop appears to get stuck to Butternut's tongue. It was only when watching the recording back that we saw this. If we had seen this while filming, we would have stopped him from nibbling it at all once he had it out of his mouth. Once eating the treat, he did seem to really enjoy the flavor of it. I think it would be better suited for a larger animal, perhaps a guinea pig or a rabbit. Overall, I like the idea of crunchy treats that have nutritional benefits, but unfortunately I cannot promote this product. I hope in the future Brown will adjust whatever caused the treat to get stuck to Butternut's tongue, in addition to the size of the treat. I do, however, want to thank both Chewy.com and Brown for letting us try this product.